And uh, congratulations for all the awarded. I really would like to work with you all. And I hope we have a life to do it. Well, thank you very much for this award and for what it means. I'm very impressed. Uh, it is an honor to think that my work has helped people and allowed the society to be more fair, permissive, plural, and free. I never dreamed about so much. My dreams were far more modest. I was born in one of the darkest times in Spain's history, in a post-war time, and under a very totalitarian and repressive dictatorship. Fortunately, when I started to make movies in 1980, the dictator Franco had already died, and my country was living enthusiastically and deliriously in the first years of our democracy. I am a proof uh, that change operating in my country was real. It was an indescribable experience for someone so young to suddenly have so much access to all this freedom, not only to live, but also to create. I was born as a film director in those years. It would have been impossible to do so before. What needs to live on a free society? But you also have to choose to work freely. That was my ambition. From the very beginning, it was clear to me that my only commitment was to freedom and independence. And I decided to project that same freedom in my characters and stories. As a writer, I made them live through baroque and exaggerated situations, no matter their social class. For example, all my female protagonists, whether they were housewives, nuns, or lawyers, they all enjoyed the same moral autonomy. From the beginning, my stories were born out of diversity because that was my own life. It just came in naturally. Uh, although I'm aware that the universe that I proposed was an idealized one because society did not always respect diversity and integrate all the gender options that nature provides us with. However, this is the power of a field director, one that also writes their own stories. You can impose on everyone your point of view, your mentality, even if it only represents you and the community you live in. Making movies is an arduous job, but a great adventure. It doesn't matter the kind of movies you make, but doing them out of freedom and complete independence without market considerations has never been a, a problem for me. It is in my nature, unfortunately, I never had to pay a price for it. I was lucky to connect very quickly with the audience, and for their part, I thank the Canadian public for their support of my work since the beginning. <clears throat> Freedom is individual and sometimes heroic. Just consider Iran. Cinema is the best tool to document one country's social reality, even if it is done through fiction. I would love to share this award that Davy is holding um, to the Iranian director, Ali Abmatsadeh, whose last movie, Critical Zone, has just won the Pardo d'Oro at the Locarno Film Festival. This director, who cannot leave the country, filmed in a guerrilla style. Unfortunately, there are countries where film directors are imprisoned, where they cannot make the films they want to, and nor can viewers watch movies from other cultures being forbidden by censor. All my work is born out of the absence of censorship, both legal and personal. And I would like to dedicate this word to all these colleagues who are suffering from it nowadays, as well as to send them a message to support, of support.
I would also like to share it with my fellow companions for more than 30 years, Sony Picture Classics. They have been the perfect bridge, so my work could be seen here. And uh, I also dedicate this work to all the actors who have given life to my characters. And uh, well, some of them is here, Ethan Hawke. It was the last one. Yes. And I would like to make mention of the actors on strike. I hope they find solution for everyone involved. And finally, I want to share this award with the table number 10, where is my brother and part of my artistic family. Thank you, really, thank you so much. <laughs>